What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. In this quick video guide I'm going to be showing you how to get unlimited crystal and fibre optics, two very rare materials that are used in crafting, mainly used for the upgrading of energy weapons and the construction of power armour mods and turrets. Indeed a lot of rare weapons in the game need it, and it's not easy to find. So I thought I'd make this video to help some of you out. This video will show you how to get 50 of each material in about 2 minutes. And then you can repeat this method and you'll be able to acquire 250 of each rare material in 10 minutes. And you can just keep on doing that and doing that until you have as many materials as you need. These rare materials can of course also be sold for caps, and as you have an infinite supply of them, I'll show you how to get lots of caps at the end of the video using it. But first, to get access to these materials, you'll need to come here on the map to Jamaica Plains. The location is located in the south area of the map, just here, literally directly under Diamond City. You're going to find quite a few ghouls around this area, so do take care. I've actually already cleared out the whole town of ghouls just so this video is a little bit faster for you guys to watch. So I'm actually entering the town from beneath this large road behind me. You can also use this yellow car here as a reference just so you know where you are. Once you're here though, head straight on and you'll find a dead body on the floor. Just violate this corpse and loot the key to the community hall building. And the building itself is not hard to find, it's straight ahead of you, so just keep walking straight on. It's the one with the giant statue in front of it. But if you are interested in the story of this location, and indeed the secret treasure hidden within, make sure you check out my full location guide in the description. So just head on inside the building, and then turn left, and we can actually drop down to the basement here. We will unlock the door with the stolen key that we got from that corpse. If you don't have the key, it's actually an advanced lock. Once on the other side, head down the stairs and turn left again through the double blue doors. Now go right through here. You will soon reach a rather securely guarded corridor. And I mean, this takes security to a whole nother level. That has 49 laser trip mines on it. Yeah, I know, that's a lot of damn lasers. It does look pretty awesome though. The first thing you must do is make any follower that you have with you go and wait out of the way. Just completely out of the way. And then I do recommend saving the game, especially if you're a low level. So what you can do now is actually disarm each trip mine. And as you can see, all you need to do is click on it. You don't need any special perks or anything like that. Each one will give you one steel, one fiber optics, and one crystal. And bear in mind that there are 49 of these trip mines. So once you get into the flow of it, you can actually rack up these materials quite quickly. But at the start, you may want to save the game and then quick save often because you don't want to set off one of these trip mines by accident. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. Because if you do, it will actually activate the laser turrets. If you're really clumsy like me though, you can actually just throw lots of grenades down the corridor to destroy all the turrets completely. And then you won't even need to worry about setting off the alarm at all. So once you are done disarming the trip wires, you can then rearm them again by pressing this big red button a couple of times at the end of the corridor here. And then you just repeatedly do this. So this is truly an unlimited supply of materials. And while this method might seem a little bit tedious, it is pretty legit. And it will never get patched because of how the game works. So you're probably thinking, how many caps can I make from this? Well, it took me about 2 minutes to disarm all 49 traps, and I guess I was a bit slow the first time, so I might even get faster as I get used to it. So that is a total of 49 of each material, and each one can be sold for 6 caps, apart from the steel which is sold for 1. But you should probably keep the steel because that's actually a useful building material that a lot of buildings use in the game. So if you do the maths, on one run through this will give you 637 caps in total. And the amount of caps that you get by selling them does depend on if you have the trader perk which is found in the speech skill category. So I do recommend that you invest 2 points in that. So let's just crunch these numbers for a second. If you do this for 10 minutes you'll make 3185 caps. And if you do it for 30 minutes, you will make 9,555 caps. That's almost 10,000 caps. 
pretty easy, right? The only thing is that it's quite tedious, so you might lose your mind in the process. But you would be rich, so who cares? So literally 20,000 caps an hour. If you're like, yo, this method takes too much effort for me. Well, don't worry, there's actually another method you can use that's also legit, where you don't need to do anything, but either just play the game normally or leave the game AFK and you just get money for it. And I'll leave a link to that guide in the description. Alternatively, if you just want to cheat and get tons of bottle caps, check out the other link in the description to my console mod and you can download that and you literally just press a button and get a thousand caps and just keep pressing it. Anyway guys, I do hope you found this video helpful in at least getting a supply of optical fiber and crystal and making a few caps. Please like the video if you did, and of course you can also subscribe to the channel so you don't ever miss these weekly Fallout useful guides that I do. But thanks again for watching guys, my name is ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Goodbye!